Tonight, officials in the state's largest school system stepped up efforts to address learning loss brought on by the pandemic. Within the past couple of hours, school officials and the YMCA of the Triangle presented a plan to get students caught up. WRL's Aaron Thomas joins us live outside Dillard Drive Elementary in Raleigh with some of the details. Aaron. Yeah, Lena, the goal here is to expand this tutoring program for students in grades two through five to beef up some of their reading skills. Now it's a matter of if volunteers in the community will step in to help those students in need. Learning loss is real. Test scores have declined. This Wake School's parent didn't hold back in front of school board members tonight as she shared her concerns about students falling behind academically as a result of the pandemic. Kimberly Matsune, a parent of a rising third and sixth grader, saw the effects firsthand with virtual learning being the only option for her immunocompromised family. The largest impact it had on our children was just, I think, just the disconnect between the actual written assignments and the feedback from the teacher. From limited in-person instruction to staffing shortages, Wake County Schools now in recovery mode to tackle these challenges. Administrators and members with the YMCA of the Triangle presented one possible solution. Helping early literacy with practice strategies or helps aims to boost students reading fluency through one-on-one -on -one tutoring and small group instruction. As an important complement to rigorous standards aligned instruction taking place in our classrooms, rooms, we fully expect that high dosage tutoring can and will have, have a positive impact on student outcomes. The district will be tasked with finding volunteers committed to tutoring at least once a week for the program to be effective. It's easy to access, it's feasible to use, meaning it can be implemented by volunteers and lay people in the community as well as by educators. Families looking for anything to help their children get back on track with their academics. And I think any supplemental education is beneficial for children anywhere. Now, there are other school systems in our viewing area using this tutoring model. You have Cumberland, Durham, and Johnson County Schools, just to name a few. This is still in its early stages, but the plan is to implement it sometime in September of this year. Lena? Aaron Thomas reporting live in Raleigh. Thank you.